Today in Space Flight Simulator, we're gonna see if we can land on Phobos and Deimos and come back all in one launch. All right, so I'm thinking we do two separate landers. We send one like mothership to go around Mars and just keep circling in orbit. And then two different landers break off, go to Phobos, go to Deimos, and then they both come back, dock. We send the whole thing back. I'm gonna turn on infinite build space, but no other cheats. We're not gonna use any other cheats. So this is what we start with. Okay, so here's what's gonna go from Mars orbit back to Earth. And these are where the landers are gonna dock onto. So now I need to put the landers down here. Okay, so here's the two landers that we're gonna use. So this should be enough fuel to land on Phobos and then one on Deimos and then return dock on here. And then we can return the entire thing back to Earth. So let's put it all in a fairing. All right, the rocket is done. I think it should go pretty well. Uh, it's all staged up. Uh, let's go for it. Okay, here we go. Full throttle, go. Yes, it takes off. That's good. All right, side boosters run out. Break off. Good stage. Very tall rocket, but I think it'll work pretty good. Because this stage is going to run out, but then we still have this whole stage to push us the rest of the way to space. Go. Oh, beautiful. And boom. Okay, so our rocket's going to get pushed into space now. So I'm just going to let it go a little bit higher than the atmosphere. Um, we'll just run the rest of this stage out. Okay, perfect. So um, let's cut the engines for now break this section off okay that looks like it worked and then right about here we're gonna start accelerating again and this will push us into earth orbit okay here we go we're approaching orbit boom reach low earth orbit okay okay so now that we're just like floating around the earth we need to locate mars here's mars little dot right here we're gonna click navigate to and this will give us a transfer window so we actually have to wait for the earth to be right here okay now that the earth is in that transfer window there will be another transfer window on the earth right here so we're gonna time warp to that transfer window and then this stage should push us the rest of the way um, on our way to Mars so we're just gonna boost here uh, we gotta go 650 meters per second faster Okay, so this stage ran out, but good thing we have still this whole stage to get us there. Okay, so now that we're really close, we're actually going to use RCS to get us the rest of the way. Once this says zero, that means we have an encounter. So if we zoom in on Mars, you will be able to see um, this is our current trajectory. So if Mars is here, we're going to swing right past it. So we can use our RCS to try to get closer. And we actually want to get as close as we can. Um, but if we're going for the moons, I think maybe we just you do it right outside of the orbit. Um, or is it better to go inside? I think we'll go inside. So I'm going to position it so we're very, very close to Mars, low Mars orbit. And then we can use our landers to go out to these moons right there. Okay, so now we're on track to go right here on Mars. So if we zoom out, um, it's actually going to take about six months because Earth is right here, a little over that, um, about eight months, which is, is realistic. That's how long it really takes. And it's going to have to go all the way around here till we encounter Mars. But we can just time warp. So we can just click where we want to go and warp there. So let's click here and just time warp there. So here's our rocket. It left Earth and there's Mars. And here's our rocket and it's going to get really close and now we are right next to mars so now we're going to rotate our rocket retrograde facing away from where we're going and we just burn fuel like this and let's just boost until we get into mars orbit so we actually do have an orbit now and it's coming down boom low mars orbit perfect this is exactly where we want to be Okay, so now that we're here, let's open up our fairing and get this baby out of here. 
So, um, I'm just going to send one immediately, I guess. Okay, let's send this bottom one. We're going to send that one to Phobos because it's closer. So, all we got to do now is detach, switch to, turn on this and our RCS, and we should be good. So, let's move out of the way of this because we're going to need to accelerate a little bit. And then we should be able to click on Phobos, navigate to, and it's going to give us a transfer window. So, we should be fine if we time warp now. Yeah, we're not going to hit it. And let's warp to the transfer window. Okay, 105 meters per second. So we're gonna rotate our rocket facing our trajectory and go positive 105. So here goes our little lander on its mission. And it's so small that it doesn't take that much fuel to get going that fast. Use our RCS to get it the last little bit. Boom, okay, we have an encounter now with Phobos. So if we zoom in on Phobos, Here's our encounter. We want to get it as close as we can without hitting it. Like, even that. And we're going to time warp here now. Till we're right next to Phobos. Okay, we're going to rotate retrograde now. And boost. Don't want to hit it yet. Okay. So now here's our path. Ooh, this is kind of scary. So we're going up and then back down, so we should be able to position it pretty well. Let's open our legs. The gravity's so low that it's hard to position everything. We need to be going towards the surface, and I would like to be going straight down. Here it is. Phobos is the bigger one, so the gravity's actually going to be stronger on this one than it will be on Deimos. Okay, hopefully this is flat enough to land. It doesn't really look like it, but we can kind of use our RCS to kind of position us. This little ledge right here. We're gonna land right there. Okay, and slowly touch down. Land. Count it as a land. The game. There we go. Landed on the surface of Phobos. Beautiful rock. It's beautiful. We're still 86% of our fuel left to get back. Okay, now let's switch back. And this one needs to go to Deimos. So let's undock it. Switch to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're going fast. Boost. Get us back onto Deimos. We already used more fuel than the other one used. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, we're gonna need to position us. I guess we'll just go straight for the landing. There's no point in trying to get an orbit with this small of an object. Here we go. Uh, RCS, help me out. It's like bouncy. Count as the land. Yes! Okay, landed on the surface of Deimos. Now we need to get both of those landers back to our mothership. So I think the best way to do it is go for Mars orbit first. So if they're moving this way... So we want to take off and go to the left. So let's go. We'll take this one back first. And that should already put us in a Mars orbit. Yes, it does. And then we want to navigate to this. We're going to warp out of Deimos or whichever one yeah Deimos okay we have a transfer window right here so it wants us to slow down 184 meters per second we still have a good chunk of our fuel left so this should work that's about as close as we can get and how's our okay well that's not gonna work is it it wants us to go through the earth or through Mars <laughs> That's not going to work. Okay, so I think the best way to do this, actually, um, this is going to use a little bit more fuel, but it's okay. We need to get into low Mars orbit first and then do the rendezvous. So I'm actually going to accelerate again until we are in low Mars orbit here. Yes, and then warp to our low point of the orbit, the periapsis, and then slow down at this point too, and this will give us a low Mars orbit. 
I'm not too worried about fuel. We have a good, uh, we have a good chunk. Beautiful. Okay, low Mars orbit. So now we want to warp to this transfer window. And this should be better because now we're going to accelerate to meet our mothership. Okay, only 14 meters per second. So let's get an encounter. Five, four, three, two, one. RCS. Boom. So they're going to get extremely close to each other right here. So let's go there. And then we just need to use our RCS to try to get as close as possible. So we're going to track this now. Okay, side velocity. We want that to be zero. And we want our velocity to be positive. So if we aim like this, this should be the most efficient way to do it. And now just like this, because we're already going pretty fast towards it. So here's our, this is how far we are away from it. This is how fast we're going side to side relative to it. We want this one to be zero because we want to go straight towards it. And then this one is just how fast we're going towards it. So we want that to be positive. So we're still moving towards it. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on it now. There it is. So it's docking ports are on the side. So we need to aim for one of those sides. Okay, here we go. In for the docking now. Boom, that was a beautiful dock. Okay, first lander that went to, this is the one that went to Deimos. So now the one on Phobos, we need to get that one back. Still chilling here on Phobos. Beautiful. So same thing with this one. Um, we need to launch it to the left and then I'll get it to a low orbit and then dock it. Okay, here we go. We got the second one back um, to the thing, to the mothership. And this looks like it'll be a clean dock too. There's plenty of fuel left. Beautiful. Okay, we got both of our landers back docked on our mothership. So let's close all of these landing legs. Now we take the whole thing back. To Earth. So we zoom out, find Earth, navigate to. Okay, so we actually do have to wait for Mars to be in a transfer window, so let's time warp to that. You can watch our ship. Beautiful. Okay, and then another transfer window on Mars, so let's time warp to that one. And we should have enough fuel to get back. Okay, 461 Delta V. Yeah, let's go for it. So our rocket's now boosting like this with both of our landers attached for now. Okay, we have an encounter, so let's check it out and adjust if we need to. I do want to try to get this whole thing into orbit back there so we can keep our landers in space if we ever need them again. We'll go like that, a low Earth orbit, and let's time warp. So now we're leaving Earth, we're leaving Mars and heading back to Earth this whole trip. Um, for the humans on board, this whole trip would take a couple years. So now we're gonna burn retrograde like this to slow us down and get, our, get ourselves into orbit of the Earth. Okay, that's not that circular, but it'll work. So unfortunately, we can't actually leave this central part up in space because there's nothing to control it. So what I'm gonna do is detach um, both of the both of these landers and then attach them to each other so that if we ever need them again we can use them and they'll be chilling in space for us to use we could even bring up like a space station type thing and refuel them so if that's something you guys want to see leave it down in the comments ideas what we could use these landers for that we still have in orbit and this thing now needs to slow down the rest of the way let's not hit those and this whole central part will burn up, but then our astronauts will survive. Beautiful. Okay, and break off here. And we'll time warp to the atmosphere. Reentry looks good so far. Beautiful, we made it. 
All right, so if you look at our mission achievements, you can see that we landed on the surface of Phobos and landed on the surface of Deimos. So if you check the achievements, you can actually go to Phobos and Deimos and see that we got both of them in one mission. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave suggestions down below for more things to do in Space Flight Simulator. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a like and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.